Happy Monster X album release day! The K-pop group have dropped their highly anticipated new album, Take Two, We Are Here, and it slaps. One Stan tweeted, The album preview did not do the album justice at all, I'm on the f floor. Another adds, Take my heart, take my money, take my soul, take me. In a nutshell, Everyone is very excited! One of the tracks is a collaboration with Steve Aoki, who recently told Metro, Recording the track was incredible because I got to work with such talented artists. Their voices and melodies and vocal performance on the track is amazing. We've also released the video for title track Alligator, and it's very good. There are roses and lasers and posters about the seven deadly sins. It's like Twilight meets Mission Impossible, but with better clothes. I don't want to spoil the end for you, but I'm going to. There is dancing in front of flames on splashing water in white shirts. You do the math. Actually, don't. One of them did it for you. So, what are your thoughts on the album? Best track? Favorite member? Hot a slow, smoldering glance into camera for the alligator video? Let us know. Happy 31st birthday, Rihanna. Here is just a small handful of reasons why we love her, in no particular order. She took a hip flask to the 2017 Grammys. She declined a Super Bowl performance in support of Colin Kaepernick. The only bad thing about that is that we were subjected to Maroon 5, but a worthy sacrifice. She's responsible for approximately 37% of your favorite reaction gifts and memes. She created the most inclusive makeup line ever, and now others are doing the same, finally. She's a strong advocate for making education accessible and partnered with the Clara Lionel Foundation to provide bikes to young girls in Malawi so they could go to school. She has so many great looks and so many brilliant music videos. She single-handedly started the asymmetrical bob craze of 2007. Even my boring English tutor cut her hair like Rihanna in the umbrella video. She steals drinks and glasses from nightclubs. Very relatable. She started Savage Fenty, a very inclusive lingerie line, and shows it on the runway on women of many shapes, sizes, colors, sexualities, and stages of pregnancy. She's responsible for the best game doing the Twitter rounds right now, where you Google Rihanna and then your birthday to discover your Rihanna birthday outfit. This is mine. This is me. All right, we've given you just a small section of reasons we love Rihanna. Now the ball's in your court. What's your favorite thing about the B-Day Queen? Let us know. Guys, we need your help. See, there was a recent Twitter debate about who this decade's male heartthrob is. This generation's Brad Pitt or George Clooney. An important question, yes. But it sparked an even more pressing debate over who the definitive teen idol is. And we need you to settle it once and for all, because someone at the MTV office is going to lose a limb if we don't have an objective voice on the matter. Probably me. Thing is, today's teen idols aren't just about looks. Sure, that's quite an important element. But there are other crucial things that they need. Charisma, sense of humor, a moral compass, great clothes, and preferably my phone number. Note, teen idols don't actually have to be teens themselves. So, without further ado, the nominees. Timothy Chalamet, an obvious front runner. He's a genuinely great actor, has perfectly floppy hair, and once did a rap about statistics under the alter ego Lil Timmy Tim. KJ Apper and Cole Sprouse, because they're a package deal. Extra points for this one, because KJ is a New Zealander, and New Zealanders are the best. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Troy Sivan, he's Australian, but we'll let that slide because he is also best mates with Ari, a queer icon, beautiful. The 1975, good clothes, great charisma, even better music. When they won the very well-deserved Brit Award for Best British Group, Maddie used his platform to read out an article by Guardian journalist Laura Snapes on toxic masculinity in the music industry. Take note, men. Kevin Abstract, extremely talented rapper, singer, songwriter, director, beautiful human, who founded Brockhampton, the self-proclaimed hardest working boy band in the world, and one of the best. Also, Kevin's debut album was called MTV 1987, which is a great choice of name. Not that I'm biased. Noah Centineo, did you see those Kelvin ads? BTS, they win here, they win dance, but do they win our award for the most desirable teen idols? The choice is yours, guys, the choice is yours. Jaden Smith, it. So, who is it? Who has won the most prestigious award of the year? Let us know.